Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. I am very super excited. This is actually my very first time. We are actually gonna go into the store right now and buy the 22 AR and see if geese are working. The other thing we're gonna check out today, guys, is the new medals for trophies. They have been updated with the next update and they are very different. I am on the beta right now. And there it is, Zarza 15. We have the 22 LR Shadow and the 22 LR Predator. So the 22 AR is part of the Modern Weapons Pack that comes out on February 22nd of this month, guys. I am in early access, so I do have it a little bit early. All right, we're gonna buy the Predator for right now. And then we definitely do need some ammo. And we're gonna grab the 22 LR just to compare it. Let's do some comparing today. That sounds like fun. All right. It does take the same ammo. So it takes the 22 LR ammo and you do use the Hyperion or the Argus with it. So excited to hunt geese. Let's do this. And guys, if you do enjoy today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. Thanks guys for that. And we're gonna head right into it. Now you'll notice the reticle in the center of the screen, guys. That is brand new with this build. You can customize it. If you go in here to system, game, and just scroll down, it shows you right here the reticle shape. You can change the shape. We have circle, circle and crosshairs, or just crosshairs. I'll leave it at crosshairs for right now. And you can change the color. Really interesting. All right, let me leave it on blue just to play with it. I'm gonna put it on small. And there you go, we did change it, very cool. At first, when I saw the reticle in the center of the screen, it bothered me. I think we just have to get used to it. One way that this reticle is really gonna come in handy, guys, is with the recurve and the longbow. So, let's see if geese are working. Come on, work for us, baby, you can do it. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a very long time, here we go. Now what's been happening, guys, is the geese have not been connecting with the decoys, and so they come in and they just don't land. So there it is without the scope on it. Looks pretty cool. All right, there's some geese. Let's see what we got. On in and land for us. Show us you're working. All right, here they come. We're gonna wait and see if they land. Land, babies. Okay, they are landing, guys. Geese are working. This is so exciting. Yes! There they go. And yes, they... They are 100% fixed. All right. Oh, there they go. Here we go. So this is the new 22 AR. Oh, it's quiet. Oh. Now the thing is, it needs more shots. It definitely needs 10 shots. That is the one thing that may make people really not reach for it. Got it. It's much better to have the 10 shots but it is very cool. I love this thing. And this, let's let's see how fast we can unload it. Here we go. Not bad, but I really think we need 10 shots. I think that is something that EW may actually change down the road. Oh, my zeroing's off. Let's fix that. But having to reload every five shots is a little bit annoying. But I do love it. I love the way it sounds. It does take the same ammo as the 22 LR, so you do not have to buy any separate ammo for the 22 AR. All right, so not even two minutes has passed, guys, and we do have more geese coming in, so they definitely are working just perfectly. Come on, give me a big boy. You know what? Let's try and use our shotgun, and then we will go over to the 22 AR. But the community is going to be super excited that geese are indeed fixed with this update because this is absolutely hands down the best way to make cash the fastest in the game. There just is no other way that can be done as quickly as by hunting geese. Yes, so nice to see geese on the ground. Here we go. to the 22 AR. Got him. Oh, nice shot. We got two of them there. If the 22 AR actually did have 10 shots, I don't think I would ever use the 22 LR ever again. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just don't need 
to. So they're coming in regularly, guys. I am not waiting a long period of time for them. We do have a four here. All right, bring it. And look at that, landing goose. Isn't that beautiful? Sight for sore eyes. That's right, come on in. There he is. Hello, my buddy. You dead? You dead? You dead? All right, let's let's try the AR now. Ooh, beautiful. So because I only have five shots, I'm not gonna fire as many and try and be a little more precise with my shooting because I only have the five shots. Even though I, I can unload pretty quickly. But then you have to reload again. I do think it is something that they may change down the road and make the ARs have more shots. It definitely can be changed. I actually think it will be. All right, let's pick up some of our kills here. This should be the four. And look at that, guys. So that is the new medal for gold. So all of our medals have changed with this update. And that is actually a brown hybrid right out of the gate and a gold one. That's actually a pretty sweet little find. Now, they are uncommon. They aren't that hard to find, but the first one being a gold, that's pretty nice. So we're looking for an 8.5 for diamond. They've done a lot of really nice improvements in the game this update, guys. I'm really impressed. So there is our new silver medal. So what do you guys think of these? Let me know in the comments. Do you like these new medals? We haven't seen a diamond yet. Don't know if we will today or not, but we're trying. Or do you like the older ones? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think of them. They're definitely very modern looking. So this one was taken with the 22 LR. So far, I'm really enjoying it, but I am super, super excited that we can now hunt geese again. They are working perfectly, guys, and that is so exciting. All right, this is a gray-brown female with the 22 AR, and that was a 118 meter shot. So guys, once you do get your hands on the 22 AR, you do have a chance to use it. Let me know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the 22 LR or do you prefer the 22 AR when you are taking those long range shots on geese when you're done with the shotgun? Which weapon are you going to reach for? I would really love to know. I really think having 10 shots is the deciding factor in which weapon to pull for. I think it will be for me. I love using new weapons and all, but 10 shots is hard to argue with. It, it really is. And guys, if you're wondering where on the map I am hunting geese, I actually just have one location right now, but this is where it is. So this outpost is the Schoenfeld outpost, and I actually just put a tent to the right here in the field, and this is where I have been hunting them. I like to set the time for about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and I have quite a bit of success here, so I really do like this spot. I definitely do need to set up some more areas, but we are going to have a look at the 22 AR right now. Okay, so here it is in the store, guys. So once you do purchase the Modern Weapons Weapon Pack DLC, you do not have to pay any in-game dollars for the Zarza 1522LR. It comes in Predator and it comes in Shadow. So they weigh two and a half kilograms, which is the same weight as the 22LR. So that's interesting. So it has an accuracy of 100, a recoil of eight, a reload speed of 59, and a hip shot of 86. So when you compare that to the Virant 22 LR, the 22 LR has a little bit more recoil. The AR has eight for recoil and the reload speed here is 49. Whereas I do believe the 22 AR is gonna take a tiny bit longer to reload. 59 is the reload speed, unless I have that backwards. So as far as stats go, they're very, very, very similar. I do think the big deciding factor is the 10 shots. That's gonna make a big difference to us. No shotgun this time. We're just gonna use the 22. Here we go. I can try it without the scope. Let's try it. Got him. So you only have five shots and yeah. <laughs> Every time I have to reload at five shots because I am used to the 22 LR, it's kind of frustrating. All right, got him. If you want to leave the shot, got that one as well. And of course, every time you have to wait for your weapon to reload, they're getting away, right? Oh, not too bad. We got that one as well. 
So I, I really like it. I think it is beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful weapon. Really nice and quiet. I just really hope that they do increase the magazine capacity for all the ARs. I think that would be amazing. Now I know they do want to keep the game realistic and in real life. A lot of places it is illegal to have more than five shots. But Jaxie did mention during the EW stream that this is a game. It is meant to be fun. So sometimes they might be able to bend on things like that. And there's that level four. I'm not sure about this gold metal. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think I like the old ones better. Maybe I just need to get used to it. It just doesn't pop enough from the screen. I think that's what my issue is with it. But I love that they're trying to modernize and make everything so much nicer in the game. I think that's just so amazing. So the Modern Weapons Pack comes out on February 22nd, guys, on all three platforms, and then you can buy it. It comes with the 22 AR, the 223 AR, and the 308 AR. I do think this is going to be a super popular pack. And I do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. And we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.